So in this Tobacco University video, I'm going to talk about how simple hydrogen peroxide can be utilized to help increase seed germination. I'll tell you what percentage to use based on the research study and how you can achieve that same concentration with various products you might be purchasing. All right, let's look at how improved cannabis seed germination with hydrogen peroxide can be accomplished. First off, giving you just a little background on growers' usage of hydrogen peroxide. Some growers may use it as a simple pour through. It'll cause a lot of bubbling. Uh, this can be effective for root or substrate based diseases, but this lecture really, we're gonna focus on just the germination rates that some growers may already be utilizing this particular product for other purposes. Hydrogen peroxide is common. Uh, it's used in most uh, first aid situations, typically a 3% solution as a mild antiseptic used to prevent infection of minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. Product works by releasing oxygen when it's applied to the infected area. Um, and you see this kind of bubble for, uh, foaming that occurs. They remove the dead skin, basically clean the area, and that's a sign that it's working. I do want to make note that if you are purchasing concentrated hydrogen peroxide, typically 25 to 35%, uh, and you get that directly on your skin, it'll cause it's a, a burn, uh, basically turns your skin white um, as seen in the image here. So that's highly concentrated. That 3% would just cause the bubbling effect. Now with hydrogen peroxide, remember that light can break it down. So this is why it's typically found in a light block bottle because um, that can reduce the concentration over time and there's usually a use by date stated on it. So keep that in mind if you are choosing to utilize this particular product. So let's get to the research article um, here that talks about this um, germination um, to different cannabis seeds soaked in different concentrations uh, of hydrogen peroxide. So here's some of the data that they were looking at. So the germination of six month old seeds of uh, blueberry of cannabis variety in concentrations of hydrogen peroxide solution as well as a water control. So A here, the top uh, picture here, is a represent photographs of germination seeds and seedlings in H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, for various concentrations of water in day one, day two, day three, and day four. So you can see their actual uh, data here. So if we look at water right across, this is what it looked like after one day, two days, three days, and four days. And you can see that in relation to the other concentrations of hydrogen peroxide. Now down here, uh, panel B is a comparison of the germination percentages with those different concentrations of hydrogen peroxide. And we could see here, it kind of puts the visualness of the data here into actual numbers. And we see something very distinctive happen, and that is the middle bar here, the second bar I should say, is the 1%, and that had the quickest rate of germination compared to the other concentrations and also the water control. So then they took this up and they did uh, five-year-old seeds. So germination of five-year-old seeds of the Fenola and uh, X59 varieties in 1% high in peroxide solution compared to the water control. And we could see, again, the water uh, compared to the two, compared to the other two varieties in 1%, both uh, Varieties responded very well to that 1% in that comparison of germination. And this was a 1% uh, peroxide solution media and water control. It is shown here in the mean uh, with uh, five uh, seeds being uh, tried here. Each replicate around 30 seeds uh, were used in total. There, I'll give you a little comparison there. And always look at the article if you want more of the details or information. So growth and survival of HGO of hydrogen peroxide solutions germinated in an MS media. So this is looking at more of a um, petri dish kind of look look at things, but again, same basic thing: water over day from the first day they were placed, or it's basically day zero to day one to day three there. So day zero is just after transferred to the MS media plates after they're soaking, and then 24 hours after and 72 hours um, after transplanted to that uh, medium there. And that's just typical petri dish general multi-purpose. Uh, media that was utilized there. And we're seeing the results yet again of that 1% solution uh, showing visually that best rooting. So what does the study conclude? What do you kind of like get to the, the bottom of the study here? To improve germination rates of your cannabis seeds, soak the seeds overnight in a 1% hydrogen peroxide solution in, in a dark uh, room at room temperature. This is a great for situations that require sterility, such as tissue culture. It's what they basically this study concluded. However, how does this kind of relate to your uh, germination rates? How can this help uh, benefit you? While some growers may soak their seeds overnight, this is typically not often advised, though shown it can work. 
uh, but this information still can be useful. Simply instead of soaking your seeds in plain water for whatever duration of time you choose to use, you can simply add hydrogen peroxide to create a 1% solution as you're soaking your seeds and that can help improve your germination rates. So the question now becomes is how do you get to that 1% rate? So I'm gonna use the simple chemistry here, C1V1 equals C2V2. The concentration of your starting stock solution with your initial volume will equal the concentration of your final dilute solution with your final volume. So if you're using a typical bottle here, that's 3%. Uh, if you have 16 ounces of that, um, how do you get that 1% solution? So in short, starting with your solution, there's three times as strong as you need. So taking 16 ounces of stock solution, adding 32 ounces of water will result in 48 ounces total of a 1% solution. And you can see basically I went through and calculated that right here, basically solving for V2. Now another part here, what if you have that concentrated? In this case, 32% food grade hydrogen peroxide. Well, if you're using that same 16 ounces of the food grade hydrogen peroxide, in short, you're gonna be taking 16 ounces of that stock solution and adding 496 ounces of water, which result in 512 ounces, four gallons, of a 1% solution. May be applicable on very large scales, but four gallons of a 1% solution might be more than you need. So if you still have that same concentrated solution and now you're only gonna use you know, two ounces of that, you know, what percentage of water would you need to add? Well, two ounces of your stock solution here, 62 ounces of water would make a 64, probably more a reasonable volume there of a 1% solution that you can utilize to soak your seeds in to help improve germination rates. So hope this helps. If you have the solution already, give it a try. Run the trial yourself, see how it helps out. But start with that 1% solution because that's what the data shows is the most most effective.